Hello world, welcome back to the Razer RC and we're back out with a pretty dang exciting product. To be honest with you, I've been following RC Discharger for years uh, because those of you that do some pretty serious racing, either in spec classes or even 8th scale, 10th scale, whatever, are probably familiar with RC Discharger. So battery technology, especially in spec classes, is pretty much one area where I'd say the pros or the, the super serious uh, high level racers have advantage over kind of the regular guys um, and discharging has been a way to basically uh, warm up, break in the batteries, get them a little bit uh, heated up so that they are able to charge at higher amperages, actually give you a lot more punch when you're actually driving the car. I've been testing this out and yeah, definitely notice a big difference. Even on some older batteries I've had for like several years, um, you notice a lot more punch, especially jumping out of corners, I would say is where you notice the biggest difference. You get a little bit more top end in my opinion, it's just flowing uh, current faster, uh, but really exiting corners getting on the throttle it's almost like you know if your punch goes up to nine now it goes up to like 11 or something like that it's, it's kind of crazy um certainly is much more useful in the first few laps is where you know the biggest difference but i think throughout the course of the race you know five six minutes whatever you're actually racing you'll notice a difference so uh, what rc discharger has been making through the years is basically a discharger to allow you to use an eye charger to charge on one side discharge uh, to the other side through a resistor bank um, that allows you to discharge at high amperages typically like 40 amps or so but with the rc discharger they've got a new product which is a regenerative discharger so a lot different than the traditional dischargers was just a bunch of resistor banks fans stuff like that to allow you to discharge turn all that uh, electricity into heat but with the regenerative discharger you actually are able to power cycle uh, the battery so you're basically uh, cycling it by discharging it and then it goes back into the battery through the use of a giant lipo so it's actually got a 6s lipo here attached to it it's got a power supply some intelligence electronics and stuff like that and it actually just plugs straight into your uh, eye charger uh, through this large ECA connector. Now they do make a couple of different versions. They make a 2S version. This is the big boy, the 4S version. So really for 4S lipos, like a scale, that kind of thing. I think they're also working on a 6S version as well. So if you're, you know, drag racing on 6S or something like that, that might be useful, but I got the 4S and we're gonna talk about this a bit. Uh, some things to note. Definitely, uh, you know, this sells for 400 bucks for the 4S version, $330 for the 2S version, which has different, a couple of different stand options, different color options, that kind of thing. But I've got the red and I've got my eye charger 406 Duo. So you definitely, you know, want a eye charger. I think it also supports other uh, charger types, but I've got a 406 Duo. This is a little bit of an older model. They make a 456 Duo now, which, you know, is higher at balancing, uh, uh, current rates and stuff like that. So this is a little bit older, but I'll work with this. Definitely want to update your eye charger to the latest firmware. I found the easiest ways to get a smart card, actually put the firmware on the new smart card. And then there's a procedure actually to uh, load it onto the eye charger. There's supposed to be a, like an application that you can run on your PC. I couldn't find that anymore. It seems like it's unsupported by Gen C. So uh, I just did it through the smart card and that worked totally fine. You also uh, want to run EC8, you know, on the 4S at least. Uh, this is just to provide, you know, a lot more current flow. This is a serious, you know, regenerative discharger, so you definitely want serious wiring. I've got my uh, Donathan RC uh, charging cable, so I, these are like 10 gauge, super uh, high end. You really want uh, to have your all your components uh, be soldered correctly, the right gauge, the right connectors and stuff like that. So anyways, it plugs into your wall just as you would expect, and then you actually plug the eye charger into the uh, regenerative discharger. And you do need to set up this guy. Um, there are instructions that uh, RC Discharge provides. So I actually went through that. Um, you basically have to set it up so that it will regenerate discharge correctly um, through the uh, cycling function. And not a bad idea to have some sort of temperature gauge. So uh, you say the whole purpose of this thing is to provide some extra heat, kind of break it in a little bit more, um, get the crystals and stuff inside the you know, battery, uh, nice and flowing current and stuff like that. So uh, that's really kind of what you want to make sure you're going through. And then uh, with any new battery or even a battery you haven't used in a while, they do have instructions on how to break it in. They say it's critical that you do this actually to get proper life out of your battery. Um, actually, cycling these batteries is good for the batteries. It actually keeps them healthy, keeps, you know, the chemistry and stuff, uh, flowing current uh, a lot 
more easily. Um, I think batteries will actually last longer if you use this. So another side benefit of this, I know it sounds like charging <laughs> a 40 amps. This is a little crazy for some of you probably out there. And I would say you definitely need to have a high-end battery that will support it. Um, I don't think any battery will actually technically say, yes, do this, that's fine. But the high-end stuff, the good stuff, um, definitely, uh, you know, people are doing that. And uh, that's, that's what people are, are you know, using uh, if they're going to go through this method. Uh, but anyways, yeah, we're going to break in this brand new uh, Gen Zace Redline 2.0 battery. Um, it's ready to go. So uh, we'll kind of check the uh, resistance on the battery. That's kind of the area where you can measure uh, that you're actually getting some sort of benefit. My old Gen Zace Redline 1.0, I had about 3.5 milliohms or actually higher than that. I think it was like four or five milliohms at some point. Uh, but after, you know, running through the cycling of this a few times, I actually got down to one and a half milliohms. And with a high quality battery, you should be actually be getting lower than that, maybe closer to like one milliohm or even below that. So yeah, a good battery, a good uh, regenerative discharge like this, and you can get a lot more performance out of your batteries and make them a little last a little bit longer. So yeah, um, setup is, you know, done through this manual. Uh, you will definitely want to check that out. Make sure you follow the instructions. Uh, break in procedure again they have a little sheet explaining how to do that and then uh, once you do that you can be ready to go ahead and start using it. Okay, so we're done with the break-in of this uh, brand new 2S LiPo that I was using. Uh, it does take a little bit of time, a bit over an hour, so definitely set aside some time at the track, uh, wherever you are to break in your batteries, because it's not you know like a 10 minute process, but I think in the long run, you'll get more out of your battery, it'll last longer, a little bit more punch. Also, uh, it started at about 2.2 milliohms with a brand new pack, you know, charging for the very first time. Uh, by the end, it was more in like the 1.3 uh, milliohm range. I think once I actually race this pack on the track and do a couple of cycles at 40 amps, then, you know, I'll get the full benefit. It should drop to more like in the 1 milliohm range or even a little bit less. So, uh, yeah, that's something uh, important to do. Just take a little bit of time, but I think it's well worth it. Uh, something you want to do with any brand new pack or even a pack that you haven't used in a while. Uh, you can go again through this break-in uh, process. But yeah, anyways, there's a quick look at the RC Discharger Regenerative Discharger. Um, I'll have a link in the description on where you can pick one of these up. If you're curious why people on the track seem to have a faster car than you, even though you got the same motor, same ESC, all that stuff, this is probably a big reason why, um, you know, it is a bit of an investment with the eye charger and the discharger, but uh, you put that together, you do have, you know, a pretty compelling uh, and winning combination. So anyways, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe buttons, look for more videos soon. Thanks for watching.